Hello everyone, in this video I have a probability problem for you guys and I wrote it down here. It says, person K has a habit of losing his hat at a probability of 1 over 5. Person K visits friends A, B, and C's houses and when he came back home, he found out that he had lost his hat in one of uh, the houses. What is the probability that person K had lost his hat in friend, friend B's house? First, we're going to make like a diagram or a picture to, to help us solve this problem. We first have friend A's house and he goes to friend B's house afterward and then he goes to friend C's house after that he returns home and his name is K and of course at first he started from his house and went to house A and so first is we're going to write out all of the probability here so the probability of a uh, person K losing his hat at his friend A's house will be 1 over 5, just 1 over 5. And the probability of him losing his hat at his friend's, his friend B's house will be equal to 4 over 5 multiplied by 1 over 5 because for him to lose his hat in, pers uh, in uh, B's house, that means that uh, he didn't lose his hat in house A. So the probability of not losing the hat in a house is 1 minus 1 over 5, which is equal to 4 over 5. So if we multiply these two together, we get 4 over 25. And now the probability of losing losing his hat in, in house C would be one a uh, four over five multiplied by four over five again and then multiply by one over five. This is equal to sixteen over one hundred and twenty five. And because again, uh, for him to lose his hat in house C, he remembers his hat, remembers his hat again, and then loses his hat. Oh, this is a five, by the way. It looks like a three. So the probability between him before he gets so if uh, if person K is in his is in his house right now a uh, home then the and he thinks what what is the probability that I will lose that, that I will lose my house uh, my hat in house A that would be one over five but if he is in the middle of walking from house A to B so here and he uh, touches the top of his head and feels that there is no hat on his uh, head and then realize he's realizes that he forgot it out at house A then if he think about what is the probability that he lost it in house A that will be of course one right uh, like 100% that he lost it in house A and it is actually because it is 1 over 5 because the probability of losing his hat in house A in the total which is 1 over 5 and so that is just 1 and now if he was going from house B to C here and then he was then he realized that he forgot his hat in either house A and B and he thinks uh, what is the probability that I lost my hat in in uh, house B then that would be the probability of losing his hat in house B which is 4 over 25 divided by the total uh, the total probability that he will lose his hat which would be uh, 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 4 over 25 he didn't get to house C yet, so there is no way that he lost his hat in house C, right? So now if we do the math here, we get 4 over 25 multiplied by, uh, this is times 5 on top and bottom, so that is 9 over 25, which means that it's times 25 over 9. Yes, and this, these two will cancel, making, making 4 over 9, and so, but now, 
the actual question is what is the probability that he lost his hat in house B after he came home he came back home and realized that he forgot his hat in one of the houses so that would be here and so just like we did it for this and this we're going to uh, do the solve for the answer basically the same way so the probability that he will lose his hat in house B is 4 over 4 over 25 and divided by the probability that he will lose his hat, hat which is all of these three added up together so that is 1 over 5 plus 4 over 25 plus 16 over 125. Now if we uh, add these two, uh, add all of these three up, multiply 25, 25, 5, 5, that will make 25 plus 20 plus 16 divided by 125, which is 61, 61 over 125. And so this is equal to 4 over 25 times this but reversed because it was actually supposed to be divided by but we changed it to multiply so now this is equal to 5 and that gives us a answer of 20 over 61 so that is the answer for this problem uh, thank you for watching everyone and this will be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye!